what is going on everyone and welcome back in today's video I'm gonna be showing everyone how you can get unlimited fish with no fishing pole no fishing trap and best of all you don't even have to jump in the water to try to scare them onto land you just leave it up to these spastic fish and they will find a way to get up there now the hardest part about this in general is you're gonna have to find a spot where the fish are spawning now I think I did this five or six times before I could section off the right piece of water. Now, I looked online and I couldn't find anything directly that tells you what the spawners look like, where the spawners spawn at on the map. I mean, I couldn't find any of this information. So this has all been pioneered by yours truly. So first off, you're gonna have to find you the perfect body of water to do this in. Not anyone will do. Ideally, you wanna find a spot where the fish are already beaching themselves. I mean, you see this a lot where you're walking around in Valheim and you'll just randomly find a fish already on the beach. Well, you know, like when they're laying like that, you can push them back into the water and he'll take off swimming again. It doesn't matter how long he's been sitting there. So that that's actually the fish swimming up onto shore. They're not, they don't spawn there like I previously thought they did. So that's what I've been looking for and that's how I found this spot in particular. You look, you want to find a spot in the woods that has fish in the water and possibly fish on the bank as well. And then that'll be kind of the golden signs for you to go ahead and section off the ends. Now you can of course build through the water with wood, which is a little more tedious because you have to kind of finagle your way around, stacking them and then building on top and stretching out to the side and then jumping over to the other side and doing it again. I found it's a lot easier and a lot faster just to raise the ground up. I mean, you don't have to worry, and you can do it in water. If you've never done it, you just stand right on the edge, and you can raise it up like so. And bada boom, you build a little land bridge right across whatever body of water you're trying to section off. Once you get done sectioning off your little piece of water for your first test, you're going to want to make your little exit spot for the fish, which you can use the natural bank of the river and just come up and knock off a couple, like, you know, three or four wide, and then get right to where the water level and the ground meet and push that back a couple. Because the fish will be able to swim into whatever is water, and as they get higher up, it'll actually, they'll kind of float above the ground and the water, and that's when they'll get stuck. So that's what you're just trying to create a little spot for them to get stuck is all. Now once you finish making your little beach embankment for your fishies to get stuck on, you will have completed your first step into making a fish farm. Now this might take you a few tries, like Lord knows it took me quite a few tries to get this right, but it is so efficient once you get it going. Now I would give this mm, two days, two, three days, you know, you take all, if you take all the fish out of there and no fish respawn, I would move it down river or up river, you know, and, and just keep shifting it around until you can get it in the right location. Now you could always do like I did, and I made a little section in mind to see they were spawning from. So you could just hypothetically section off the whole river to find where the fish themselves are actually spawning from. But that's up to you. And that's all you guys get out of me today. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see y'all in the next one.